Um, I'm going to actually oh. uh, yeah, start things off. I, a couple of people asked me about this yesterday, and I thought I've covered this many times, but uh, there was a question about Troy Dye, and he's uh, – there's no discipline of any kind. I don't know how this, this got out there. If, if a guy's disciplined, we'll announce it and we'll, we'll make that known. Um, uh, and then by the same token, we don't talk about injuries and availability. So you could probably put two and two together on that one. And also um, there's no other um, announcements to make at this time about any of those guys, as far as, you know, uh, the length of certain guys being out. So Mark, do you find it difficult to coach against a friend? Have the handshakes the last couple of years been bittersweet, or you and Chris just this normal game for you guys? I think there, you know, uh, when you're in this long enough, that happens. You know, there's guys uh, that you know pretty much on every staff to, to some degree. Um, some longer than others. Some some you like more than others. Uh, but no, I mean that that that's we're not preparing. If we were playing, if it was me versus him, we'd 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 that'd be that'd be a different story. Coach, everyone said after the game, everyone involved said after the game that Dakota was still the quarterback. Has that changed at all? Is he still the guy, or is there a competition going on, or what's the situation there? Yeah, I mean, there's everywhere across the board. There's competition, and and you know, there's there's naturally, you know, this got brought up yesterday too. Naturally, that that position gets a lot a lot of uh, blame and a lot of credit when the, neither neither was warranted um and and you know we're making we're making adjustments everywhere so you guys said after the game though that he's still the quarterback is that still the statement today uh yeah i mean we're still competing we're still competing coach uh coach if you go back to the uh recruitment of brendan schooler what did you guys see in him that made you guys give him an offer um he's big he can run he can hit he's physical um you know, for a for a guy that comes on on the on the back end of a defense, came downhill, sideline to sideline, made a bunch of plays, a lot of time a lot of times with ball skills. That's that's a rare combination for a high school kid. Um, and then did did a lot of stuff on offense and also on special teams. So a versatile versatile guy. It seems like this year's Washington team is maybe more explosive offensively. Is that simply just the return of John Ross from his injury, or are there other guys that have aided in that? Well, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest the biggest difference that that they would probably say is yeah, his his health. He's a guy that you know everybody recruited for a reason, and you see, you see it. I mean, he's a fantastic player, a ph you know, phenomenal special teams player, both as a, a returner, a pressure guy, and in, in some of the punt stuff they do, um, and then the the combination of of tight ends, the combination of running backs that they have. Uh, there's there's a lot of a lot of poison to pick when you're when you're when you're watching them from a defensive standpoint. How are guys able to counter a team that is able to generate so much pressure in the backfield with just their front four? I mean, they they blitz less than almost any other team wow. in the country. Yeah, no, that's that's just it. They do a phenomenal job with, you know, you watch the Stanford game. There's there's times they're rushing two guys and they they create issues, three guys and get you know multiple sacks. And so that's their their. Uh, they're they're a great weapon right now as they create that pressure with a three four four man rush. Uh, it's not always the same four guys, but it turns into a four man rush, um, and then keep that extra defender on the back end to to help out. The, and those guys can really run. Uh, they're they're linebackers. They're secondary. Uh, those those guys are playing at an extremely high level, not only on defense but on special teams. They they basically run the show on special teams, um, and so it's it's a tremendous challenge. Looking at Washington, what's been the biggest development in Jake Browning's game from the last time you guys faced him? I bet he would say. I mean, he, he's he's really improved across the board. I think he would say, you know, having John Ross and the rest of those those skill guys around him healthy is a, is a big deal. Um, that wasn't always the case last year uh you know multiple receivers that, that give you issues multiple tight ends that give you issues multiple tailbacks that they can deploy so they are they're they're loaded and they're playing with with a ton of confidence right now obviously the last couple of weeks haven't gone the way you guys would have liked them to uh talking to arian after the game he said that uh the team just needs to find something to, to play for uh in order to kind of restabilize in your eyes what do you guys still have left to play for i mean i know it's a, it's a long season ahead but yeah it's absolutely a long season there's a ton of those goals out there whether it's team goals all those things but 
at, absolutely has to become personal. You know, and we, we talk all the time about personal goals and, and why, why these guys do what they do. It's very difficult to do, do what they do on a daily basis. Uh, and, and you need that motivation, you know, whatever, March 12th to have a great day on March 12th to know that that's going to affect your football season. And, and, uh, you know, guys, guys are learning the, the, the very hard way, slap you in the face way of a lot of these things right now. Um, but, but, yeah, it has to it has to be a personal thing, absolutely. TJ Daniels shifted into the D tackle spot a couple games now. How has his development gone, and is that maybe a permanent move for you? Is it shown enough? Probably, you know, just depending. You know, there's been some guys in and out there uh, availability wise, um, but and, and, and TJ is a guy that we just keep waiting to really come through and break through. Uh, but he he's done some good things his last couple couple games, and and uh, hopefully that will continue. Mark, for weeks you've said that you've had great weeks of practice. You've in the week with with a spirited practice. Why hasn't that translated maybe into the game? Have you been able to diagnose? I know that's a, that's a broad question, but yeah, yeah, that's that's the psychologist hat that that you know you're always kind of working with. Of uh, you know, I think sometimes and and particularly maybe in the Washington State game, we had several you know multiple guys that you're you're kind of hoping something good happens or hoping something bad doesn't happen and that's not what you want you know you want to focus on your job and attack it and and carrying that confidence through and 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 seeing it matter in a in a game situation again for a you know a defensive guy that hasn't had a ton of success and then get gashed you know on a drive or something you know something that 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 cloud of doubt continues and so that that's that's as big a part of any right now is believing in what they're doing coaching them to 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 be in position to be sound to 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 you know play their tails off and then and then see it happen coach uh chris peterson up in washington said he wasn't going to talk specifically about oregon is that are you guys specifically talking about washington or i know coach greatwood was pretty adamant and saying you know the streak wasn't going to end is that something that you keep a nameless faceless opponent or is it something you use as a little bit of extra give this week um i think it's i think it's both i mean i think we're always we're always um and that's something again we're learning as a as a team right now is is that faceless opponent mentality and and totally focusing on us totally focus internalizing those things um you know and then again week to week if there's if there's things that that you can stoke that that fire um you know that's impossible not to to hear uh that that noise and and you know that 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 will never change. And I know you said not talking much about Johnny, but I think it's fair to say he's probably not playing this Saturday. Who's the next guy that's next up? As you guys say, in in that position for you? Yeah, it's it's uh, you know it's a competitive situation. Obviously, that, that you know getting that whoever that next guy is, you know, um, DeQuan, AJ, Danny, Jimmy. I'm gonna forget somebody here. Keith Sims. Uh, you know the, the the linebacker that 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 rotation is ongoing. How how do you man, manage the either the, like the stress stress or emotions of when you guys are doing things right? It's you can do nothing wrong. Whereas now you lose a couple of games and people are calling or fans are calling for wholesale changes throughout the whole program and everything. Mm-hmm. How, how 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 does that kind of affect you guys emotionally and how do you guys handle handle that? Um, yeah, I mean a lot of it a lot of it is the same. You know, in terms of of how you how you manage the guy, you know, how guys react because there's there's just a higher a higher percentage of of people when things are great they relax, you know, or when things are not great they you know start pointing fingers, or start, you know, there, there's something something there. So I think that there, you know, it's it's obviously a different result and and there's a little vibe that's that's different, but you're managing that. Uh, you have you know have a little different conversation at home with your kids and what people are saying about you and uh, managing that. But, you know, unfortunately, that's the reality we live in. Anything else? Everybody's happy. Thanks.